Is your motor oil secretly destroying your engine from the inside? After analyzing over 200,000 miles of real-world test data and lab reports, I found one popular brand so damaging, I wouldn't run it in my car even if it was free. From Blackstone Labs teardowns to highway stress tests, the numbers are brutal. Today, I'm revealing which oils truly protect your engine and which one is a quiet engine killer. Let's dive in. Number 9. Shell. Everyone knows Shell. It's the world's largest lubricant supplier. But that reputation is exactly what makes it risky. Shell feels safe. And when an oil feels safe, drivers push it too far. Shell Helix Ultra uses Pure Plus technology. Natural gas turned into an ultra-clean base oil. It gives engines a clean start, but only if oil changes are perfectly on schedule. Lab data shows a flashpoint around 240 degrees Celsius, which helps resist fuel dilution, unless you stack short trips and injector issues. Used oil analysis reveals low iron and copper up to 10,000 miles. That means cylinder and bearing wear stays controlled until the additives begin to fade. Shell consistently shows higher insolubles than top-tier synthetics. In high-mileage engines, those insolubles matter. They clog oil control rings, restrict passages, and slow down cold-start oil delivery, the exact conditions that accelerate wear without any warning. Viscosity holds well early on. A 5W30 grade stays within 5% of spec after heat cycling. But once detergents and anti-wear agents start dropping, the oil film weakens. That's the danger point. When additives fade, metal-to-metal -metal contact rises quietly. For daily drivers on strict intervals, shell is fine. But add high mileage, the heat, or delayed changes and that fading protection becomes dangerous and stacked conditions are how engines get killed. Next up, a smaller, less famous brand whose lab results surprise everyone. Number eight, Lucas. Most know Lucas for additives and greases. That reputation builds a specific trust. Drivers assume the oil must be bulletproof too. That assumption is where risk creeps in. Lucas 100% synthetic shows low wear metals up to approximately 8,000 miles. Iron, copper, etcher, and lead stay under 25 ppm. Cylinders and bearings are protected as long as the oil isn't pushed past its comfort zone. Viscosity stays stable, and its approximately 230 degrees Celsius flashpoint helps limit fuel dilution. If the engine isn't running hot or rich, additives hold up well through most of the interval. But in extreme heat testing, Lucas shows higher oxidation and insolubles than top-tier synthetics. Those insolubles start forming small deposits in oil passages and around piston rings. In older engines, that matters. Deposits restrict flow, oil control rings lose movement, cold start lubrication slows and wear spikes before you hear a noise. Blackstone reports confirm Lucas is safe for normal use. But long drains, high heat, or engines past 200,000 miles expose its weakness. This oil protects well, but it does not forgive neglect. Number 7. Quaker State Quaker State has an American legacy stretching back a century. Drivers trusted it for high mileage protection. But after Pennzoil sold to Shell, Quaker State now runs under Shell America. The brand remains. The formula is Shell-driven. Lab tests on Quaker State 5W30, full synthetic. Show decent results. Viscosity holds under normal cold starts and highway heat. Flashpoint is stable enough to limit fuel contamination if the oil isn't stressed by high mileage or neglect. Wear metals stay low for standard 5,000 mile intervals. But oxidation and insolubles climb faster than premium synthetics, forming deposits that can block oil passages in older engines. Its additive package gives reasonable detergency and anti-wear protection, but it isn't built for extreme temps, long drains, or engines past 200K. Push it, and metal-to-metal -metal contact rises. That's when this safe oil becomes a slow engine killer. Number six, Pennzoil. Many think Pennzoil and Quaker State are the same. Not true. Both are Shell-owned, but their oils are chemically different. Pennzoil uses a premium gas-to-liquid, GTL, base oil from natural gas. This base is purer, more stable, reducing oxidation, sludge, and deposits but only if you stick to proper intervals. B 
Because the base oils differ, additive packages are distinct. Versus Quaker State, Pennzoil uses slightly lower calcium, zinc, and phosphorus. This helps meet GM's Dexos 1 Gen 3 specs while keeping wear metals low under heat. Viscosity remains stable across extremes. Flash points resist fuel contamination. Insolubles are minimal, but neglect or extreme conditions can tip the balance. Pennzoil Platinum and Ultra Platinum have earned high marks from Blackstone and PQIA. Plus, being the official motor oil partner of BMW Motorsport proves it handles serious performance demands. Number 5. Castrol Castrol is a mechanics and enthusiast favorite for decades. Lab tests and real-world reports back it up. Its formulas stay stable and hold viscosity over long mileage, but that stability is conditional. Use the wrong viscosity or push intervals, and parts stay vulnerable. The GTX line uses strong detergent packs to break down carbon sludge and varnish. Blackstone and PQIA tests show low oxidation, low wear metals, and minimal sludge even on extended runs. The high mileage GTX adds seal conditioners and boosted anti-wear additives, why older engines benefit. Temperature control is another advantage. Castrol maintains viscosity in cold starts and hot summers. Flashpoint numbers stay solid. Fuel dilution stays low, helping engines survive stop-and-go traffic or heavy loads. Castrol collaborates with Ford, Jaguar, BMW, and motorsport teams. Data comes from real engines. So why number five? Because the top four offer slightly better wear resistance, base oil purity, and long-term oxidation control. Even Castrol can risk wear if misused. Number four, Haviland. Haviland is often overlooked until the lab numbers hit. Most know Chevron for Tecron fuel additive. Fewer realize they make a motor oil that runs clean and stable. But the type you choose matters. Use a conventional or blend instead of full synthetic in a high mileage engine and protection drops sharply. Haviland uses Isosyn base oil tech, creating a clean, consistent base almost like a synthetic. Blackstone and PQIA tests show Low wear metals, iron, aluminum, copper stay minimal, very low oxidation, stable viscosity from cold start to hot runs, low insolubles. Its additive package is strong, moly, boron, and detergents reduce friction and remove deposits. Many drivers notice quieter engines, especially in four cylinders. Flashpoint numbers are solid, resisting fuel dilution. Still, high mileage engines need the full synthetic version. Use the wrong type, and bearings, cam lobes, and oil control rings see metal-to-metal -metal contact. Haviland is excellent value, but past 200,000 miles, stakes rise fast. Number 3. Valvoline. This one shocked me. Valvoline didn't just release another synthetic, they released an oil that removes sludge, not just slows it down. That claim sounded crazy until lab reports arrived. Valvoline Restore and Protect uses one of the strongest detergent packs on the retail market. Blackstone reports show very low insolubles, even past 120,000 miles. This oil is scrubbing engines clean. Chemistry High calcium detergents for sludge cleanup, boron for stability, moly for friction reduction, and a base oil blend designed to stay clean longer. In PQIA testing, viscosity stayed stable after heavy oxidation meaning it didn't thicken up, a common problem in deposit-filled older engines. Wear metals stay low. Iron, aluminum, copper stay controlled, even with old gaskets and seals. Flashpoint is strong. Fuel dilution stayed low. Water coolant contamination showed clearly, proving it handles short trips and cold weather well. Why not higher? Because the top two have even better long-distance stability over 8,000 to 12,000 miles. But Restore and Protect is one of the most impressive oils released in the last decade. Number 2. Mobile One Mobile One is the cream of the crop. Ask any seasoned mechanic which oil they trust first. Chances are, Mobile One comes up. Over 50 years ago, it became the first full synthetic sold worldwide. That set the standard. Lab tests show Mobile One keeps wear metals extremely low, even in engines running hot for thousands of miles. Its additive package, 
a precise balance of moly, boron, and anti-wear compounds, maintains protection without spiking or dropping. The oil resists thickening and oxidation over long intervals. Viscosity stays stable through cold starts and highway runs. Its flash point is among the highest in retail oils, meaning it resists fuel dilution and heat breakdown better than most. Engines that idle, tow, or sit in traffic benefit immensely. Mobile One meets or exceeds specs from Porsche, Bentley, and all GM brands. For most drivers, it delivers reliable protection, cleanliness, and stability. Yet even Mobile One has limits. Past 250,000 miles, wear metals can creep up slightly after extended intervals. Neglect changes or push too far, and parts stay vulnerable. It's exceptional, but no oil is invincible. Number 1. Amsoil. This starts debates, and that's okay. The top five oils here are all incredible. But Amsoil Signature Series sits at number one for one reason. The numbers keep beating everything else. It's not hype, it's data. Across Blackstone, PQIA, and independent tests, Amsoil shows some of the strongest results in the consumer market. Extremely low wear metals. Iron, aluminum, copper stay low even after long runs. Oxidation resistance that holds structure better than almost every retail oil. Viscosity stays stable, doesn't shear down or thicken up. Flashpoint is one of the highest, resists fuel dilution and heat breakdown. Additive package is strong. High detergents, anti-wear agents, moly, boron. Insolubles stay low, filters aren't struggling, oil stays clean. Signature series is built for extended drains. Tests show it holding up past 10,000, 12,000, even 15,000 miles without losing protection. That's where it creates distance. Not because others are weak, but because Amsoil's base oil purity and oxidation resistance are on a different level. Based on data, stability, long drain performance, flashpoint strength, and wear numbers, Amsoil stands at the top. The engine killer, Supertech, the oil I would never run, even if free. Supertech looks cheap and convenient on the shelf. Lab numbers tell a terrifying story. Blackstone tests show Supertech used oil consistently with very high wear metals. Iron, copper, and aluminum often spike above 35 to 40 ppm after just 3,000-5,000 miles. Bearings, cylinders, and valvetrains see metal-to-metal -metal contact far sooner. Viscosity stability is a disaster. Under normal highway heat, it thins out quickly, failing to maintain its SAE grade. In cold starts, it struggles to flow, delaying lubrication. Flashpoint is low, prone to early ignition in high traffic or heat. Additive packages are weak and burn off fast. Detergents drop quickly, sludge builds, oil control rings clog, passages restrict. In engines with 100,000 plus miles, this oil accelerates wear dramatically. It fails to control fuel dilution, allowing gasoline to thin the oil over time. This combo of oxidation, low flash point, and poor additive retention creates a ticking time bomb inside your engine. If you value your engine, avoid Supertech at all costs. It isn't just inferior, it's the kind of oil that can kill an engine if used long-term in high heat or an older car. The testing criteria, why this isn't just opinion. You've seen the rankings, shocks, and engine killers. But how do you know this isn't just my opinion? The proof is in the data. Every oil was tested against. Wear metals measured how fast your engine is being eaten from inside. Spikes in iron, copper, aluminum, EWAS bearings failing, cylinders scoring. Additives. When detergents and anti-wear agents drop, metal grinds metal. Sludge forms. Timing chains, oil rings, cam lobes suffer. Oxidation and contaminants. Oil turning acidic or thickening into varnish starves. Moving parts clogs passages, speeds failure. Flashpoint, too low, and fuel dilution thins your oil. Heat spikes can ignite deposits. Viscosity, too thin or thick destroys bearings, delays lubrication, chokes oil flow. Insolubles and solids. Debris clogs oil rings and filters. Engines run dry in spots. Filter effectiveness. Weak filter, oil can't do its job. Parts rub raw. 
This isn't lab talk, it's engine reality. Every number reflects the danger or safety inside your engine. Now you know why some oils can quietly kill an engine, while others protect it for hundreds of thousands of miles. If the wrong oil can cause damage, the wrong fuel can ruin it faster. Most drivers don't know they're filling up with gas that wears injectors and kills pumps. I broke down the nine gas stations you must avoid. Click the link below.